protective safety systems interfere before a collision occurs in order to prevent or to mitigate it. CFTRW's automatic emergency braking, for instance, detects obstacles and initiates an emergency braking if a collision could not have been prevented otherwise. Let's take a look at another safety system, the Assisted Emergency Steering Control. Things are getting really complex when the car not only brakes before the obstacle, but in fact even avoids it autonomously. With me now is Marcus, one of the developers of the system. Marcus, um, Marcus, what are the different types of collision avoidance systems? Well, we'll present two different systems here. We differ between automated emergency steering and assisted emergency steering. The difference is as follows. The automated system is able to avoid the collision completely independently, that is, the driver can steer the vehicle hands-off and the system avoids the obstacle. The other system is able to support hands-on. The driver is steering the vehicle, and when he initiates an evasive maneuver, the system comes in and supports the driver in managing the maneuver. And what do the systems actually do? The systems monitor the objects in the same lane and recognize vehicles, pedestrians, or similar objects in the same lane. The system then calculates an emergency trajectory the vehicle should follow, and as soon as the maneuver is initiated, either by the system itself or by the driver, the system is able to apply additional torque to the steering wheel and to support the driver in this way. Which technologies do you use so that the entire system works that way? Well, we installed a radar and a camera in the vehicle which are able to recognize and classify the objects together. In addition, we have an electrically powered steering as an actuator, a belt drive system which adds additional torque to the steering of up to 6 newton meters. However, the driver can override the system at all times. And what's the challenge in making it suitable for volume production? On the one hand, the biggest challenge is that the sensors classify the objects fast and reliably enough. This must be ensured to simply avoid false activation. Secondly, the control unit must be able to really control the vehicle during a highly dynamic maneuver. The assisted emergency steering control does not only support the driver during evasive maneuvers, but also forms an essential part of automated driving.